Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome my friends. Here we are once again to sample some more great tasting. American Craft Beers with Dr. Dave. Very good indeed. And now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today, we have one that was sent to me by Jonathan from the Garden State of New Jersey. This is Cape May Brewing Company. This is the Coastal Evacuation, described as a double IPA. Oh, I bet it's going to be lovely. As a matter of fact, I think I've had this before. I just don't recall. Hmm. Yeah, anyway, it checks in at 8% alcohol by volume, and the IBUs are 70. According to the date stamp on the bottom, this is very fresh, only 40 days old. Yeah, and I've had it for about a week, so it was fresher than that when Jonathan sent it to me. No doubt about it. Let's go ahead and get her open and get her into the glass. Woo! Foamed up a little bit there. It's foaming at the mouth. <laughs> Alrighty, we're using our special glass here. This glass you got to be careful with because if you pour this straight in, watch. Yeah, you see what happens? <laughs> yeah, we're going to have some nice head on the beer now. It's a 16 ounce glass and a 12 ounce can. Look how much head we have. Yeah, I like to have fun every once in a while. What the heck? Ah, that is a, a fairly hazy, not completely hazy, but fairly hazy. Ooh, dark golden, kind of an orangey color there. Yeah, oh, made a lot of head because we were playing around. Let's get some aroma. Oh, man, very tropical fruit-like in here. Yeah, this is brewed with Centennial hops. I don't know if it's dry hot, but, uh, hey, we're going to thank the brewers there at Cape May in New Jersey, and we're going to especially thank Jonathan for passing this beer along. Cheers, no doubt. Oh, man, that's a good one. Did I say it had 70 IBUs? If I didn't, I apologize. 8% and 70. Oh, man, kind of warm in here. Hmm. Oh, let's have another. Let's have another swallow or two of this before I comment. I tell you what, you better be careful. This is 8%. It's very dangerous. Very smooth, easy drinking beer. You get some lovely tropical fruit notes in here. I get a little bit of pineapple and melon. That's what I'm getting. Definitely some orange in here. Mm. Not too much, though. That's the secret. You don't want an orange bomb. You don't want an orange Julius like they had in the malls years ago. Remember that store? Hey, you don't want that kind of flavor in your beer, baby. Mm. Man, this, this is a good beer. It's got a very dry, bitter finish on it. Let's go ahead and get the rest of it in here. No doubt. Very dry and bitter finish. Mm. This is a very good beer. No doubt about it. Cape May. 8%. Oh, it's quite lovely. But the, you know, I don't know who clutters up this table all the time. We're going to have to get the maid in here and, and, fit it in and fix it up. I don't know. The maid. Me. <laughs> Medium mouthfeel on this. But I tell you what I like is that, that head retention. See, that head is not going anywhere. Even though we did pour it in rather aggressively in the beginning there, still, that head has stuck around. It's very, very, like our President Trump would say, it's very, very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. I wonder if he drinks. Does he drink? Do we ever see him drink anything? <laughs> He's the strangest president, isn't he? He has no pets. He never exercises, right? Yeah. And at least Obama, as much as I didn't like him, he did have an occasional beer in the White House. And what does Trump do? <laughs> now, we're getting way off topic here. That sounds like a rant and rave with Dr. Dave, baby. <laughs> this is a very good beer. I, no, all, all kidding aside, it's a very good beer. It's, it's quite drinkable. But you're going to have to be careful. Remember, easy drinking beer, but it is 8%. It'll catch up with you eventually. 8% beers, I don't care, man. You got to be careful. 
I'm not a small guy, and they're going to catch up to me eventually. <laughs> Cape May, out of Cape May, New Jersey. Thanks, Jonathan. I, th I do think I had this before, and it, it was a good beer then, and it's, it's a great beer now. No no problems at all. Dr. Dave says, you should try this beer because life is short. you got to be happy, my friends. No doubt about it. If you want some tropical fruit goodness, some nice sweet malt backbone, and a bitter finish, dry bitter finish, this is the beer for you. Cheers. Okay, everyone. As promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry. I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina. And they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now I think they, they charged me $2. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure. But the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast. And if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them. And they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair. More than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated. And if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio. They specialize in Ohio beers. Uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it less it weighs less, uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German Beer of the Month Club, so I get 12 bottles from six different breweries, two of each, once a month. And there's a lot of beers in there that I've never heard of from Germany. I thought I had them all, not even close. And then I have the Around the World Beer Club, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's beers from all over the world. So far, I only got one beer that I didn't really like. Uh, you know, it happens. It happens. And, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the best damn beer shop. Now, they're out of San Diego. And they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable, considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12-bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, 
the less money it's going to cost. That's just a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my pills just cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Day's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and um. This is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's cheap-ass beer reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me fourteen ninety eight to uh to have those made, so I would sell them at the same price now I don't know if the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back so but I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested but uh like I said, I don't get any money off these links. there's no affiliate uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.